personally don't think she's pregnant, and you guys are gonna, you can listen to the recording. You guys tell me. Hey, man, we're niggas. We do what niggas do. We smash. <laughs> I decided to do this series because I could not believe all of the lies that were coming out of these guys mouths in a five hour stream. I watched that stream twice, 10 hours total, and I took notes, which is why I'm making these videos. I was just not understanding why all these people are following them, looking at them like inspiration when they are deceiving and manipulating their viewers. If you haven't already, go check out the introduction, part one and part two. Welcome to part three. Today, we're gonna talk about this woman who is claiming to be pregnant by Myron. We don't know if it's true because there is no evidence proving that. So let's get straight to it. Miss Cheeks is her name. She also goes by Gray and Simone. So if you hear any of those names, this is the woman we're speaking of. She was invited to go on the Fresh and Fit podcast. She actually Frank castled herself, which is what they call it, which means she left during the stream. She claims it was because of anxiety, but she did come back a second time. And this is when Myron asked for her number, they connected, and they started dating. These messages right here is proof that they were talking on a deeper level, not just friends. Now, I really wanted to show this voice note to prove to you guys that this, in fact, is Myron that she's speaking to. And also pay attention to the things he's saying and how he's saying it. Hang out, uh, you know, go for a walk, something like that. And, uh... Yeah, enjoy the sunrise um, the next day uh, together on the balcony. So yeah, I'd be happy to have a night with you uh, alone. Long story short, Miss Cheeks got pregnant and this is when everything went downhill between the two. And she started putting out a long thread of tweets on her Twitter account. And my goodness, let me tell you, there is so much to read here. I decided not to read all of this because it'll take up too much time, but please pause every section so you can go ahead and read every single one of them. There's a lot of accusations here and allegations. You might want to pause and read every tweet. What's a little bit weird to me is that out of all those tweets, and you saw how many there were, he only wants to clarify one tweet. For some reason, the word coercion was a trigger to him. Don't ask me why. We can only assume. The long story short, guys, she didn't know the definition of coercion and she used it in her tweet. Let me read her tweet, actually, so you guys have full concept of what she actually alleged. That man emotionally manipulates and coerces women into extremely rough and degrading sex. He does things that he knows women don't like. He gets on top of them and overpowers them. He pulls their hair and puts them in positions where it's not easy to stop him. And what bothers me about this man, he does it a lot on his show. When someone misuses a word or what he thinks they're misusing, he asks them, what's the definition? As if they are a child, he could just tell them what that word means. But he wants to belittle them and make them look dumb so that he looks like he's above them. But go ahead, ask her what the definition is. When you use the word coercion, can you, can you tell me what coercion means? According to you, it means that like there's violence involved and like extreme force involved. But no. to me, other people, coercion means like mental shit. Like, you can mentally coerce someone, can you not? What is the definition of coercion? I don't know the real definition. I only know my own. Coercion is making someone do something under the, under the threat of violence. Did I ever threaten you with violence? No. So I didn't coerce you? No. So, Simone, why'd you put that on Twitter? Because my definition is different. <sighs> Stop this! All right, um, that's enough of that. Well, actually, her definition that's different might be the right one, because if you remember in my introduction video, he tells these women that the word misogynists means hating women, when in fact, it means much more than that. It actually says dislikes, and there's prejudice. So just like that, he is giving her half the truth of what coercion means. Coercion means the practice of persuading someone to do something by using force or threats. So no, nothing in that definition says violence. But yes, violence is one form of it. So let's look at the actions that is included in coercion. These actions may include extortion, blackmail, torture, 
threats to induce favors, or even sexual assault. Such actions are used as leverage to force the victim to act in a way contrary to their own interests. From what her allegations are, this sounds about right. Pay attention to the term sexual assault because I will be bringing that up later. I'm a grown woman, right? And I put myself in that situation, right? So I'm mm -hmm. taking accountability for that. I'm not saying that rape occurred, but if there's a certain legal term for it, and I can't think of it right now. And at certain points, I ask for certain things to not be done, and I explained that I didn't like certain things done, mm. um, and they were done anyways, and I was put into positions where I could not move. I could not get out of those positions. It was extremely rough. It was extremely uncomfortable. And that legal term that she's speaking of is what I believe to be sexual assault. Now let's put this out there. They both do say that their sexual encounters were consensual. But in her experiences, she felt uncomfortable and didn't like what was being done to her. She let it be known that it was not rape. Although rape is one form of sexual assault, there are other forms. Now, as you can see here, these are forms of sexual assault, including fondling or unwanted sexual touching. And from what she is saying, she was telling him what she didn't want done, but he did it anyways. That is considered sexual assault. And isn't it funny on the show, she said, I enjoy rough sex, very rough sex. So to me, you said you do it on air, but when it's him, it's a problem. Fresh, let me tell you why that's a problem. Just because a person likes certain things does not mean they like it from every person they encounter. And if those things are being done when she's clearly telling them that they don't want it, that is the problem. And when it comes to that, I do believe Miss Cheeks. The reason being is because Myron's take on sex is a little uncomfortable to hear. The bottom line is a woman's ejaculation is irrelevant. No one cares. It doesn't matter if you guys get off. Personally. Her coming is irrelevant, right? Because sex is a woman's duty, not a man's. Those words coming out of someone's mouth does not make them look good. If he was ever charged of a crime that was sexually related, these things that he's saying will be the prosecutor's evidence against him. Does not look good. He uses a woman's body for his own sexual pleasure. Yes, is he really fucking creepily forceful during sex? Is he really rough during sex? Yes. He was sweet to me after, he took me out. I wanted fucking cereal, he took me to get fucking cereal. Like, he held my purse while I was walking. Like, he, he did everything that a gentleman is supposed to do, but in a very manipulative and conniving way. And that's the fucked up part. Don't, if you're the type of man that you say you are, and you're this top tier alpha male, you don't have to act like that. You don't have to do shit like that. Don't manipulate people. If you wanna fuck, just say that, and let the woman decide. Yeah, sure, I want to fuck her. No, I don't, but don't let it. the fact that you think you may get a no cause you to act stupid as fuck. He claims to be alpha and he teaches his following to be blunt, upfront, and honest with these women. If you want to fuck, you let them know that you want to fuck. Yet here he is taking this woman on dates, taking her out to dinner, holding her purse. What alpha man holds a woman's purse? That just goes to show you that he's phony. And if he is just lying and manipulating to get his way, she proved a good point there. If you're really alpha, you wouldn't have to do that. That means you lack confidence. You can't be yourself to get a woman. You have to portray to be someone else to do that. Are you really pregnant? Yes, I'm pregnant. Is Myron, Kane, but yes. is Myron Gaines the father? Yes, he is. Yes, did we have unprotected sex? Sex, yes, but I pulled out. So I personally don't think she's pregnant, and you guys are gonna, you can listen to the recording, you guys tell me. Hey man, we're niggas, we do what niggas do, we smash. <laughs> hey, you know what, we'll own it. We made, yeah, yeah, I made a mistake, you know what I'm saying? I, I usually use a condom, but yeah. And there he goes, lying again on his five hour stream. He should know, working in law enforcement, that when they do interrogations, they stick these people in a room for hours because the more they talk, the more truth will come out. And this is what happened in his stream. He says he usually uses condoms and that is not true. Don't you remember the things you've been saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It depends on the girl. Like, I, I, like I, there's certain things that you gotta like, you know, look for or, or smell for, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever, so I hate to say it like that, but but yeah, you know. Let's just say that you don't go raw most of the time. So you are pretty much saying that most of the women you mess with 
smell or it doesn't look right. See, if that was true, that's disgusting because you still decided to have sex with them. But I do believe that's a lie. I think these are the things you're saying just to save face. Why are y'all having raw sex? Why are y'all having raw sex? Why are we not having raw sex? No, why are y'all having raw sex? And look at these two, Myron and Fresh, just laughing along. YouTube, subscribe to his YouTube oh. channel, follow him on Twitch. It's raw law. <laughs> said, yeah. 70% said yes. 70% oh, uh, said no. They think that speaking on not using condoms is a funny thing. And they take so much pride in not using them. All these young men are listening to them. I mean, you saw the poll. Most of them are having unprotected sex. And you guys are their leaders? You guys are endangering them and putting them in risk of becoming young fathers with women they barely know and at risk of getting STDs. I mean, look, fellas, if you guys are followers of Fresh and Fit, listen to what one of your teachers are saying. Brother, don't be scared. <laughs> no, no, okay, 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 okay. Let's be true. I think you already know. <laughs> I know a man. <laughs> Your boy been burned a couple times. <laughs> he contracted STDs a couple times. That is not surprising. All the sex he has without condoms. And this is how you guys want to live your life. I thought that he was going to be upset. And so he called yeah. me. He was super calm. Now, when I was watching this interview on the Pascal show, the second that she said that he was calm, I already knew in the back of my mind that the reason why he did not panic it's because he's been in these situations before and he thought you were gonna follow along to the routine that he's used to doing, which is abortion. He was like, listen, everything's gonna be fine. You can get an abortion, I'm gonna pay for it. And I'm just like... And then his behavior changes because you are telling him that you do not want an abortion. So now in his mind, he's panicking because now he's gonna have a responsibility of a child that he does not want, but that he helped create. It went from I paid for the termination, blah, 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 blah. Two, it's your fault. I told you to take a plan B, and you didn't. And you betrayed my trust. Um, right. I already have a child. So it's easy for me to get attached quick to, to harboring life. Miss Cheek says that she is a single mother, which to some people is surprising because Fresh and Fit always tell you to not date single mothers. They're just good to smash. She did the show with us, went to go eat with us, chill with us. Bro, she was here. If Myron just wanted to smash, smash, and then you'll leave. You gotta leave. I was like, yo, why is she still here? I mean, look, I was kind of like, bro, why is this bitch still here? But she's still here. I mean, this is the proof right here on how many times she was around. This wasn't just a smash. You were dating the girl. You had her around your people all the time. See, to me, it was not surprising because these guys make money off of lying to you. But let's rewind back and remind ourselves what he's been teaching you guys. Do not date or and or marry a single mother, seriously. They actually did a whole hour stream titled Single Mom Dating Is Not Smart seven reasons why. Wow. When I told him that I was shaky about abortion, um, he kind of got upset. He told me that a baby would ruin both of our lives. He told me that um, he would sign away his parental rights. Part of me just doesn't feel right abandoning a baby. That's why I would like for you to abort it. And I'm like, so you'd rather fuck up a so life than... And then after that, then you change your mind to, oh no, I'm gonna sign away my rights. So, so you do want to abandon it. Like, so either way, you just don't want shit to do with it, but you did, and you're not holding yourself accountable. And you already know how I feel about his accountability. You can watch that in my last video. So of course he's not owning up to his responsibilities, but he knows how important it is for a child to have a father, yet he doesn't want to do it. Strong fathers keep sons out of jail and daughters off sherpa poles, guys. A father is a required asset in the household. So let's go back to the recording that he had with Miss Cheeks. This is the conversation they had over the phone after the interview she had on the Pascal show. Now, before I start that recording, throughout the conversation, I will be pointing out the manipulation that he is doing throughout the whole conversation. Are, are you okay with me recording this conversation here? I'm, I'm gonna record it just for our safety. So your question, you're asking me, why do I feel the need that my reputation is more important than yours? No, that's not what I said. The, yeah, ask it again, I, ask it again then, please. I, snake shit, nah, I'm good, Never mind. Simone, I'm trying to call her again. So before they started the recording, 
Miss Cheeks asked something else. But this is typical Myron. He does this in all the shows when he's speaking to women. He puts words in their mouths. So when they say something, he twists their words so that he can lead the conversation. And pay attention to how many times she hangs up and he calls her back. He will not let the conversation go until he gets what he wants out of her on this recording. This is him calling her back again. It's coming. Good, I'm good on it, never mind. I'm not running, I'm not. But you know what I'm asking and you phrase it the way you wanna phrase it. Okay. Nothing about to play so. then ask me right now exactly what it is i'm not going to rephrase it. i'm just going to answer it straight go ahead ask it no it's okay why are you why are you backing down now this is when he gets frustrated because she must have said something that he really liked to have as evidence he didn't have it because he wasn't recording but now that he is he wants her to repeat herself so he's getting a little bit frustrated and now he's going to start the manipulation no i think it's protecting me if i don't say anything so Think. Wouldn't it protect both of us? So no, people, are, people are calling you a gold digger right now. So this is when he's getting other people involved in the conversation. He wants her to feel that she has a reason to prove herself. All these people are calling you a gold digger. Don't you want to prove them wrong? Yeah, it's not like you're going to clarify. It's not like you're going to be like... I am. I am going to clarify. You're not addressing your fans. You're not addressing the little shitheads that sit here and talk about woman, women after listening to your podcast, whether you hate them or not, you're breeding all these little shitheads and fuckers that hate women and spread hate and fucking harass women and say stupid shit. I mean, she ain't lying. We need to figure out that first tweet where you're saying I was, I, I coerced you and I manipulated you for sex. Like, because the way you said it, it makes it look like I forced you to do things when we both know it's consensual. Correct? So that is the root of the conversation. It's back to that tweet. That word coercion really got to him. So he wants her to admit that the sex was consensual. When in fact, she never said that it wasn't. Again, it does not have to be rape for it to be sexual assault. The point is, is that I didn't coerce you and I didn't manipulate you. And I offered to hang out. Call her back again. Still did not get what he wanted. So he's calling her back for the second time. So it wasn't just sex for me. I offered to hang out with you multiple times after. And that's him admitting that it wasn't just sex. If you're gonna teach men certain things, you have to live by it. Fake as hell. Can you please tell me why you went to Twitter and YouTube? Was it because I, I ignored you or you felt used? Is that what it was? This is also another form of manipulation. He asks a question and answers it himself. Again, trying to put words in her mouth when you did not give her a chance to answer. This is his way trying to lead a conversation in a direction to where she's going to give him what he wants. It's because I wanted to share how the fuck I felt and I wanted to share my experience and I wanted to make sure that if there was anyone else that experienced the same thing if with you, with somebody else, if they had the courage to to speak on how they feel about things and how they are treated so please fucking at least consider what the fuck i'm saying um okay moving on moving on my just my question is this <laughs> so basically, he's feeling like his time is being wasted. He just wants to hurry up and get to the point. He completely dismisses everything she's saying, again, to try to get what he wants. You said you did a, a two pregnancy tests, right, already? Yep. One, uh, one with piss and then one at the hospital? I'm not gonna, I don't, I'm not gonna specify. Fuck. Okay. Um... I know what you're trying to do, and I know... I'm trying to get the truth, Simone. That's all I'm trying to do. Uh, and, and I keep telling you, I don't want to speak on that right now. Pay attention to these next words he uses in the sentence. You know what this looks like, Simone? It looks like you're trying to extort me and get, like, some kind of compliance to tell okay. the truth. It looks like okay. you want to negotiate telling the truth. He uses the words extort, compliance, and negotiate. He is using interrogation tactics in this conversation, something he has years of experience in, in his law enforcement career. I consider this to be intimidation. Let's continue. No, I don't want to negotiate shit, but what I want to do is I want you to hold yourself accountable. So you and want me to suffer? No. Again, putting words in her mouth. And that's the thing. I wouldn't even be talking to you as much as I am if I wanted you to suffer. 
I would not be providing any clarity. I would not be answering any of your questions. I think that's enough there. Um, and I'm also going to show you guys while we were live on air, she actually sent me some text messages. Oh, wow. Choose to do the wrong thing, I see. Um, you had a chance and you chose wrong. If you had chosen differently, I would have been fine with clarifying and helping, but I see you're more worried about your image, and yourself and your image. Sorry guys, I'm we're trying to read this backwards. Uh, all that s softness and begging, and you pretended, dis what, you pleading disappeared when, when you, you didn't did get, get your way, your way once, again. once again? It's fine though, ahead, if you yeah. want to be spiteful, deny, deny until you can't anymore. You're really hilarious. You see why I don't want to help you? Your karma, lol. It's going to be something serious. Block, run, I don't yeah. know, bro. So, uh, scary. so you guys have it right there. So there's a lot of things alarming here, and I want you to guys hear it with your own two ears and see what she texted me earlier. Does this look like someone that's credible? That's really pregnant? Okay, first off, this shows absolutely nothing that she is not pregnant. It has absolutely nothing to do with that. She could very much be, but I will say, I don't know if she is. The only person that knows that she's pregnant is her. So I will not say that she is, and I will not say that she isn't. Fact of the matter is, this man is not living the lifestyle that he's teaching. So why are you supporting Fresh and Fit? Part four will be coming soon. That will be the last part to the series, so stay tuned. We will be speaking on Nina unrated make sure you like comment share and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload see you in the next video peace